Talk about impressive. The Parkland College volleyball team hasn't lost a game since October 1st, and they've won 50 games this year, and the winning continues. The Cobras started postseason play at home Wednesday night, where they took their first steps towards a national championship. Parkland took on Ren Lake in the opening game for the district, and the Cobras look strong, routing Ren Lake in three sets. Next game for Parkland is Saturday against Lincoln Land College for the district championship. First serve is at four in Belleville, Illinois. Just like Parkland, the Mattoon High School volleyball team just keeps rolling along. The Lady Green Waves are coming off a sectional semifinal win against Benton in only two sets. Mattoon hasn't given up a set this entire postseason as they take on Columbia High School tonight in the sectional championship. Columbia is also a number one seed, which makes it a battle of the top dogs. The winner moves on to the Super Sectional Saturday and will take on the winner of the Jerseyville Sectional tonight. Uh, tonight's matchup gets underway at 7 from Benton High School. The University of Illinois men's basketball team is not in the postseason, but hopes to make it to the big dance. The Illini start their season tomorrow with an exhibition play against Quincy College. And U of I opened last season with nine new faces on a roster of 15. And this year, head coach John Gross says expectations are higher. He expects Illinois to score more than the 64 points a game after adding a proven scorer and transfer to Ahmad Starks. Starks will be expected to pick up the slack at point guard with starter Tracy Abrams out for the season with a torn ligament in his right knee. Tomorrow's game gets underway at 7. The college basketball season is also starting for the Sycamores in Terre Haute. Indiana State starts exhibition play this Sunday against Trine University and will launch into the regular season November 14th against IUPUI. Last year, the Sycamores went 23-11 with their last game a loss to Arkansas in the first round of the National Invitational Tournament. Tip-off for Sunday's matchup is at a little after 1. And the push is on to keep the Rams in St. Louis. A former Anheuser-Busch executive and prominent lawyer have been chosen by Missouri Governor Jay Nixon to consider options securing the future of, the pro, football, of pro football in St. Louis. Nixon says former AB President David Peacock and attorney Robert Blitz will analyze the stadium issue that's threatening to send the Rams packing. Nixon wants the pair to present some options within 60 days. The Rams say the taxpayer-funded Edward, Edward Jones Dome needs hundreds of millions of dollars in upgrades. Chicago Bears seven-time Pro Bowl linebacker Lance Briggs says it's likely his final season with the team. A week shy of 34 and with his contract set to expire, Briggs acknowledges his 12-year run with the Bears will likely end this season. Briggs is expected to play this week after missing the past three games with a rib injury. Bears are headed to Wisconsin for a matchup with the Packers Sunday night at Lambeau Field. Braden, Savannah, back to you. Thank you, Derek. For more news and weather, be sure to log on to our website at weiu.net. You can also keep track of us on Facebook and Twitter. Coming up next on WAU, the nightly business report. Have a great evening and join us again tomorrow here on the area's only local newscast on PBS.